Hello guys and welcome to another weekly melting basket along with empties. I'm filming this on Saturday because Chris is being a bummer, won't get out of bed, and this is something I can do to give him like 20 more minutes of sleep. I say 20 more minutes because this week's basket is gigantic. And there is a reason. So I think I told you guys last week, like the way I store my wax, I have a bunch of like drawers organized organized by scent, scent category. I'm sorry, I can't talk. I do also have COVID right now. My sense of smell is still fine. So we're gonna keep going with this. But um, in my drawers, besides my bathroom and my like summer scents drawer, because I have learned that I do find like super fruity scents to only be enjoyable during the hot times and today right now it's like in the negatives so you know I don't need a lemonade scent currently but I had like barely any what seemed like barely any wax left in the drawers so I pulled it all this week but looking at it it's more like I had like a week and a half <coughs> worth of wax in those drawers so this basket's a little big I'm definitely not gonna get through it all I have like the two loaves I'm working on I probably won't touch either of those just so I can get through all this other stuff but with that being said let us jump into the empties so we did get through some wax this week this is 50 years loved Pappy's party from to the moon and back creations which is birthday cake and fruit loops I am learning that though I loved cereal scents in the beginning of my wax journey, I don't really like them anymore. So I would not, will not be repurchasing cereal scents. This one's pistachio almond pudding from the bathing garden. This was a very good, pretty strong throw. I just don't like that you have to cure their wax for 6 million years. And a lot of their scents are like florally, so I just won't be purchasing from them again. I finished the Salvatore Brothers from Scented Spells. This was very strong cologne scent. I did enjoy that. This was Cookies with the Clauses, Santa's on Keto, Mrs. Claus Cookies, and Sugar Cookie Milk. I cannot find on L3's website what Mrs. Claus Cookies is. So if you guys know, let me know. Because it's fire. That was so good. I would get that again, just not in Scoopable. So... There's that. This is peanut butter jelly time from Lord Apothecary. This was stupid. I hated it. It was just very like a candy strawberry and that was it. We had Pooh Bear from Fantasy, which was honey buttered rolls. This was amazing. I melted this yesterday actually. And it's just such like a relaxing, like inviting homey scent. I would definitely get more of that if they brought it back. Strawberry Cow Brittle, which was strawberry milk from Luna Dora. This was okay nothing to write home about this throw was medium kind of indifferent wouldn't go out of my way for it we have toasty coconut zucchini bread and vanilla bean noel i melted this yesterday as well this was phenomenal the throw was like a straight up 10 out of 10 i mostly got the zucchini bread which girl you won't know i ain't even mad about that super good would get that again Country Berry Hot Cakes from Birdies. This was all right, not my favorite scent. I prefer more of like a maple pancake type of scent than a berry pancake, so I probably would not get that again. Horcrux Boom Boom, I've been melting this in the bathroom all week. I don't know if it's my nose or what, but this smells like nothing, even when I put my face in the warmer. And though I am a little congested, I can smell all of my other wax. Like I've had no problem smelling any of these. So this is not good when not repurchase. And then the last empty I have is Monster Cookie Fluff Puff from Rose Girls. This is phenomenal. I melted it earlier this week and I have it in right now. The throw is like a 10 out of 10. So yummy. I would get this again in a heartbeat. Love that. So I'm gonna throw away this small stack of empties and we'll get into this week's giant basket. Okay, the two rollovers I have are the two loaves I'm working on. I have this smaller loaf from Ava's and strawberry cheesecake stuffed waffle cone. This is okay. I haven't been super impressed by it, but it is what it is. And then we have this one from L3, which is waffle cone, sweet cream, whole vanilla beans, and coffee beans. Um, 
I don't really know. I melted this, I think, on Monday, so I don't I haven't melted it since. So I don't even really know how I feel about that. I got this for the bathroom this week. I'm going to cut all of these in half. And this is from Broadway Wax. And this is the Wicked Witch, which is Amber Romance Vanilla Lace and Buttercream. Very, like, feminine, perfumey scent. It'll be fine for the bathroom, but will be terrible anywhere else. Let's get into the rest of this monstrosity. It doesn't look like I took two loaves out of this basket. There's a lot of orange bakery and stuff in this basket, which I'm not even mad about. I have two of these snap bars from To The Moon and Back Creations in Hot Orange Danish, which is orange zest, clementines, butter, frosting, and cinnamon. It's so yummy in the package. I might try mixing, actually, some of this with the waffle cone scent, or the waffle cone coffee, but we will see. So those are really yummy. We do have Trix and White Elephant Exchange from L3, and if you are unfamiliar, oh, there's got a lot of hair on here, I'm sorry. The White Elephant Exchange is powdered donuts, vanilla wafers, white cake, and vanilla frosting. Again, I'm learning I don't love cereal scents, so this doesn't smell amazing, but it doesn't smell bad either. We have caramel toffee butterscotch brulee. This I somehow missed chopping, so we'll chop that live for you. And this is caramel toffee butterscotch brulee. I don't know if I already said that. This is amazing. You really get the caramel and like the butterscotch. I love that. We have from Teddy B's Milk Cookies Zucchini Bread. I hope this is good. This is a chunk bag. This smells so good on cold. But I have just been having awful performance from Teddy B's. And I got this stuff in June, I think. Um, the pour label must have fallen off. But I'm pretty sure I got this in June. So We have this. I did gift some of it. I haven't melted any of it. And this is... One of my customs from that small good shop in salty caramel zucchini bread. It's amazing. The caramel is so like ooey gooey, which I love. Actually, got this is also a custom of mine from that small good shop in cocoa zucchini zesty lemon zucchini. <clears throat> I don't actually like this. The lemon is very almost sickening so I'm gonna try melting it and if I don't like it that's just gonna get passed on this is also a custom of mine an iced lemon biscotti zucchini bread this is like the lemon I like this is more like a sweet bakery lemon whereas that's like almost like a cleaner lemon I don't know it was just not it's not good this is not this is a customer blend but not my blend and this is cornbread, down-home muffins, and maple cornbread. Mmm. I love cornbread scents. So yummy. You get the maple. Big fan of her. We have Carbs and Cookie Land. I am having pretty good performance lately from Rose Girls. From all of the stuff I ordered that I got in May 2021, this was phenomenal. I did gift a couple pieces of this to uh, a friend, but it's super good. I'm excited to melt that, especially because I've been having such good um, performance. This is, you can barely read it, but it's Boozy Butterbeer from um, Twilight Garden. Before, you used to not be able to see the colors. It was supposed to be like it sorted you. This one's obviously Slytherin and Ravenclaw. Chris and I are Gryffindor and Hufflepuff, so it's just kind of funny, but it's a nice butterscotch scent. My secondary house is Slytherin, so it like kind of works. We've got buttermilk pancakes and blueberry and cornbread. So good. The blueberry is so strong and you get that cornbread. Love it. Hot orange danish and espresso. This is similar to Lori Brown scent. Maybe it's the same. I don't know. It's so yummy. Obsessed with that combo. We've got orange vanilla coffee. I have terrible luck with these trick tarts, so hopefully this works out well. It smells pretty good, very orangey. This I got in a D stash, and it is just Candyman from Wolf Wolf Wicks. 
feel like this should have been in my like um fruity drawer because it just like smells like sweet candy but that's fine we'll melt it we've got pistachio pops from that smoke shop this color story fabulous and this is just sweet pistachio cake pops amazing it's so good we've got pretzel monster noel from rose girls this is like 10 out of 10 from what i remember obsessed that's gonna be like i'm gonna melt this later next week so hopefully my nose is a little con less congested just so i get the full effect we've got the sample from birdies which is cinnamon bun maple cream latte and buttercream frosting Mmm, this is really good. You really get the cinnamon. Big fan. From Brita's, this is gifted to me by my friend Angelia because she hates coffee scents. And this is espresso, brown sugar, zucchini. It's amazing. I love it. I really cool. That was really good. This one was also gifted to me by Angel Leah, and this is from Birdies, and it is a Hello Darkness, My Old Friend, which is Coffee House, cinnamon buns, and zucchini bread. It's super good. It's like a big-ass coffee bean. Also from Birdies, we have espresso straight cookie dough. Got a lot of coffee this week. This is amazing. Oh my god, you really get that sugar cookie. I love we have got the sample from Fantasy Wax Melts and Cinnamon Sugar Pretzel. I love it. I have like 10 of these, so not even mad. And then I did pull this from like my mint drawer. I only have like, I have like three of the same scent in there. And it's just Sinus Relief from K. And it's like a straight, straight up VIX. Chris is going to hate when I melt this because though he loves mint, he hates the scent of like Icy Hot that like, I don't know what about it he hates. Maybe what's in it, like eucalyptus, maybe that's what he's not liking. I don't know, but he hates those scents, but my little schnoz could use the help. So one of these evenings, that is a hundred percent being melted in our room to help out Minos. That is without a doubt. So many options this week. I'll probably try melting the like smaller packages first just to get them taken out of here. Okay. I have this one chunk to cut, and I have the bathroom scent, the um, Broadway wax. These obviously cut better if you microwave them because they do have the chunks in them, but like, yeah. I'm so far down on the L3 customs list. It makes my heart so sad. I, and it, it's 100% my fault. I saw the list like a thousand times. And I was like, no, I don't need it. No, you don't need it. Because it's pretty easy to get what you want from L3. Because she takes requests all the time. But then like it was like closing in X amount of minutes. And I panicked and put my name on the list. And now I have like a list 15 cents deep. Just waiting for my name to be called before I add more to it. Broadway wax is pretty easy to chop. It's like not so soft that it sticks, but it like doesn't really crumble either. So love the cup. And yeah, like I said, I probably won't really touch the loaves that I have in here just so I can get through the rest of this stuff but we'll see we'll see how I'm feeling I do have a lot of coffee in here so I probably won't feel too drawn to the one coffee scent 
and I do really want my congestion to go down before I try that Ava's one again because I'm not having the best performance and I usually have great performance from her so that's just me but that's it for this basket if you liked it give it a thumbs up if you didn't then give it a thumbs down because either way you're helping out the channel comment down below subscribe if you have not already and I will see you in the next one bye guys